Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Seems the game title didn't update, so we are playing Terradigma at the moment. So let's chat. Oh man, chat. I really hope this chapter ends. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're being held hostage. I I double checked. Chapter one was about one one session. Chapter two was about one session. We're going on our fifth session with this uh, with this particular chapter. I really hope it ends today, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually genuinely be excited <laughs> because I'm like, please stop holding us hostage. This chapter is way too long. Holy. There, like, think about it. We fought, like, seven bosses or something at this point. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. Well, seven might be an exaggeration. We fought at least six bosses, I feel. Maybe five or six. But one of them was uh, the Bloody Mary. So I'm like, that that one was just horrible. We had Trollfish, Bloody Mary, Kraken. Um, I'm sure there were others. My, my brain is turned off. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't remember if the Shadow Morph was Chapter 3 or not. It might have been Chapter 2. It might have been Chapter 2. Yeah. But it's just like, oh my gosh. And you know we have another boss. <laughs> it's like my brain is just like, please. <laughs> Let's escape together. See, there were several areas that didn't have bosses. But I feel like the area itself was a boss. Like, navigating through the zombie maze was awful. Or, like, going through the whole forest, for example. Like, we went through legit whole dungeons. But man, oh man, chat. I'm hoping this is the legit last dungeon of Chapter 3. And it feels appropriate I came back to the troll music. Yeah, I know, boss music. You're also appropriately timed. <laughs> we're, we're about to go deal with the final boss. A.K.A. beating Chapter 3. Ah, uh, big side chat. One day. One day we'll be free of you. Like, the boss music's excited. I, I'm just like, I, I'm having uh, chapter 3 fatigue. I'm not even sure what they're going to do in chapter 4, to be honest with you. It feels really weird that we kind of, like, jump through so many eras of history, and then we're taking so long in an era that somehow has, I barely invented electricity to... I have biotechnology to, oh yeah, we had neon signs to, oh yeah, airplanes also exist. It feels really, I guess the word I'm looking for is incongruent. And it, it actually distracts me from the world that all these things are like at very vastly different technology levels with seemingly no explanation, yet they also can all visit each other at the same time very easily. Just like crazy to me. Also, that's not the right game. Let's jump into things. Yeah, I love how there's like an airstrip that exists before planes were invented. They're just never gonna explain it, Chad. It's fine. All right, let's let's get used to the controls again. Okay, I'm learning. You know what? I might have to play this more like Tekken, now that I'm thinking about it. So for those that don't know what I'm talking about, like... Normally, like, when you grip a controller, your thumb is over, like, maybe square and X or X and A on the Xbox. I think I'm actually gonna have to play it so my hand is kind of hovering. So my thumb is, like, below the right thumbstick, but my three fingers are on three of the buttons. I, I think it's just from the standpoint of, like, jump, attack and run are three things I need to be hitting constantly. I'll, I'll see how it feels. I mean, technically I could double tap to kind of alleviate some of that. I mean, maybe I should, you know what? I'll try double tap first. Also, are we, oh no. Okay, I found an elevator which I can't do anything on. Music's interesting. All right, let's, let's, let's forego the run button. I think I've had enough of it not doing what I want. 
Let's see if this fixes my problem with the controls. I figure it's, you know, we should probably give the game a fair shot. But anyway, Chan, if you had a dark, dark dungeon on your bingo sheet for things to annoy the player, uh, congratulations, you can stamp that off now. Alright, well, at least the light switch wasn't too far away. So... So let me, let me get this straight, chat. In a world where we help discover electricity, robots already exist. I really don't understand the technology level of this game. <laughs> what is that indeed, Blue Donna? Exactly. How, how timely. I don't know what I did to open that that passageway, but we'll take it. Oh, do they also have invincible attacks? Alright, we do so little damage that Rapid Jab is actually better. As long as they walk into it. Game please. Oh my god. Oh, it took 63 on a single hit? What? <laughs> Holy. Okay, so that weapon does no damage. Can we... Does this do more? We did get another weapon at least. I do one, but I'm also strength downed. Holy. Alright, we're gonna have to level on something here. I... I literally don't see any difference in them. Well, I guess I'm doing slightly more with the light rod. I guess lightning rod does work. We just need to level more to make this worth it. Now the question we should be asking ourselves is, how much do I need to level so that actually does real damage? Two, two, nine, nine, six. Chat, help me remember two, two, nine, nine, six. I want to make sh I just want to test out the damage difference. I think this does more. As long as I don't get strength down. Oh my gosh, they're so tanky. Okay, if we can't kill these, we are not doing the boss chat. I'm just I refuse. So we we are just not doing anything. So they were worth approximately 80? A little less than 80? Ew. Ew. For how tough that is? Oh, that's gonna be annoying. I need like four more kills. Well, maybe three, I guess, depending on the rounding. Uh, it's gonna take a while. I mean, fortunately, I know how to do the invincible attack. You can see, chat, you know, I practiced a little bit, I, I swear. I'm just trying different ways to do it. But if we didn't have this, this game would be unplayable. Let me be real with you. Oh, that's that was scary. I actually messed up the invincible attack as I did that. Alright, so is there a better place to farm? Like we we need to level. This is non-negotiable. They give okay XP, but they are not dying quickly. And you know what's weird is we were just at the waterfall caves, right? Where the with the waterfall caves. Oh, this is annoying. With the waterfall caves, we were one we were legitimately one-shotting one of the enemies. And now we're taking, like, 30 million hits to kill these with weakness. That's crazy. Oh, just getting near it opens it in general. Level? Oh, come on. How close am I? 
Um, I might take a death warp at some point. I don't know if I feel like healing yet. We pressed the switch. So presumably I just turned on the elevator. You know, like, reminder chat, like, we actually did okay. Like, we didn't do a lot of damage to the last boss, but we did fine damage on the enemies. Like, we got to the point where it went from three shot to two shot to one shot. So, like, how much more does it expect you to grind on that area before each boss? It's crazy. Are you really not gonna... There we go. I mean, I guess I could just use a single herb just to remain semi-healthy to make sure I don't die in one hit, I guess. As long as I keep the large bulbs, I don't think it matters. We'll eat one of these. Oh, I can't interact with any of them. That's unfortunate. not even like easy to reset it's like so deep i don't want to go to another floor <clears throat> if i can avoid it i'd like to level first so anyway chat our other pickup from the island is immediately useless because it doesn't the thing that was like a 15 power increase is already useless i want you to put that those words into context the i gained over four levels of strength is already useless one dungeon later we literally used it on the undersea waterfall area, and that was it. That is so sad on so many levels. Like, when we crit, our damage is fine. But every other hit is awful. Yeah, this would be borderline unplayable without the dash attack. I don't know what we would do without it. Wait, what? Wait, did I miss? Oh, two, four, three, three. Ew, we're nowhere near leveling. Wait, I thought oh, I misread one of the digits. Ew. Ew. I need to kill like twelve more enemies just to level. Okay, never mind. Never mind, chat. Not worth. Wow, we are hilariously not close to leveling. Disgusting. I was like, I thought it was 23396, and I was like, oh, I level. Why didn't I level? And it was like, oh no, you need 24396. So I needed over 2,000 experience to level where enemies only gave me 80 XP. Are you high, Terranigma? I'm not grinding that. My bad, Chad. I wouldn't even have bothered. <laughs> I'm just like, never mind, Chad. My bad, I would have I would have left much earlier. Okay, please activate now. There we go. It's fine. We still have a lot of healing for a boss. I still have healing pins. I'm not going back yet. Are you really gonna make me wait to go between all these floors? Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's like, they're so proud of the cutscene. Oh my gosh, in modern gaming, that is so irritating. <laughs> Just sit through that whole elevator scene. Holy. What are the purpose of these rooms? Well, there's the biotechnology, I guess. Wait. Wait. Oh, do I need the dash shoes or something? Hold on. I'm not sure why I'm not able to progress. Good morning, Eldritch. Your name was in black. I could not read it right away. Uh, where were they? There they are. I'm just gonna make sure it's not something like... Do I just need to bonk into one of these?
much. Is is there any of these that I can push? Do I seriously have to sit in that elevator cutscene? I'm just making sure we have we have headbutt stupider things and made progress before. Um, is this anything? No. Oh. <sighs> Do you see what I mean, chat? Okay. Okay. Listen. 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 <laughs> this is why you need to show. Like, I can kind of see it now, but this would have been way easier if I could have seen the passageway beyond. Would have been way easier, chat. I'm just saying. I, I don't know what your crawl spaces look like in this area. Would have benefited from the camera being like an inch higher. What are you? Okay, hold on. Are you telling me I'm in a world where I helped invent the airplane, but people are legit running around with robots, guns, and jetpacks? This universe makes no sense, chat. I would just like to just point this out. It makes it 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 is so incoherent to me right now with this universe. It's like unreal. Two four nine six. Okay, help me remember that number, chat. I'm really curious. Are they a hundred per kill? What? They're so easy to kill. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me the robot that took like twelve hits to kill is worth eighty, but I triple shot them and they're worth a hundred? Balancing fleas. Okay, so I can push that one. Okay. I mean, I'm going to kill these because I would like to level at some point. Whatever game. Oh, I didn't dash. Yeah, I, and also they did like 10 damage to me when I collided with them instead of like 80 nonsense or whatever happened earlier. Game fleas. Reevaluate your stat line. Wait, what was the point of this? I can't do anything with this. Can I kill you through the wall? Oh, you sh- Oh, you cheater. You are a cheater. Let's- <laughs> Are you- Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Pri that, that was privilege right there, chat. Fine. <laughs> Screw you, Terranigma. So unfair. Oh, I have six full heals. Yeah, we're just gonna use one right now. I don't want to go back and sit through that elevator cutscene. This game chat, I swear. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Did, was there something I was supposed to do here? Do I have to interact with this? Do I gotta bonk into this? What was the point of this room? You almost look like you should be a warp, right? Would chat agree? Like I'm supposed. Oh, oh, ex excuse me, excuse me. I have to jump into the warp to get it to work. I can't, this isn't a platform or staircase. You have to jump, of course. Terranigma, listen. Like, like, you're killing me. Why can't I just walk into the wharf? Why do I have to physically jump? Game please. Right? Didn't that look like that's something you could walk or you interact and you go in a cutscene? Like, they have, like, it's amazing to me how unintuitive this is. Wah! Wah, indeed. I know. I'm just like, get out of here, Terranigma. Holy... Okay, since these are worth 100 and are way faster to kill, I'm going to kill these. I don't need the money at all from what they drop, at least not at the moment. Oh, Terranigma, please. Hopefully you're doing well, Eldritch. Also in Parameter, also Chris. Oh, no, there's... No, they made it a warp mace! No! No! Terranigma! I just want to beat the chapter! Seriously? Okay, chat, if you put if you put horrible warp maze on your things not to do in video games, please also stamp that on your bingo sheet for today. Oh my gosh. We are gonna be here for so long, chat. It, we are not completing this dungeon in any reasonable amount of time. So let me know, chat, when you hit uh level design bingo. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. What? Look how many choices there are. There's one that just deposits you in a pit straight up, though. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Where do I... Ugh, do I go right and try to metagame it? Oh, there's even a door up here? Oh no, there's so many choices. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I'm already lost. 
Okay, at least I could reset the enemies maybe and get more XP. We need XP. Oh, this oh, this is a good hallway for XP. Okay, if we're close to leveling chat, we're just gonna go ahead and murder everything here. Yeah, like four enemies real close to each other. Nice. Oh, the it, level up glitch. Did you see it? 13 life, three strength, two defense, one luck. Oh, killed him with the level up animation. There we go. Okay, so what does this do for us? We hit a switch. You're on your own, I guess. So that just leads back there, but I don't want to do that. Okay, that three strength has translated into, like, six damage or so, if I'm looking at that correctly. So that level up, I think, was completely worth it. Also, 13 health is not insignificant in this game when we take 60 a hit. Alright, out of curiosity, I killed four enemies. How much do I need to level? Oof. Oof, we need, like, 30 plus to level again. So I feel like we're probably at the right level. I'll get a couple, of, a little cheeky kill here and there to try to whittle it down a little bit. But that room seemed really good for XP. Okay, where does this take me? Uh, okay. So if I do the far right one, will that lead to a new area? Oh yeah, it is actually, you're right. It's doing it. The, see, the damage is very variable. But we were not doing 157 before. So our damage is like way, way higher off of one level up. That was completely worth it. Oh. Oh, it just it just drops me here. What was the point of the warps? They don't do anything. They just wait a minute. What was the, what was the point? Oh, they just they don't even lead to like an item. I can't do anything there. Terra Enigma, please. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take this warp just because. I'm gonna get more kills. Yeah, potentially double hitting them there with the dash attack saves a lot of time. Also, I love I gained like almost a thousand in gold. So let's kill this hallway one more time and then figure out where to go. Since that level up was 100% worth it. Yeah, critting for a We went from critting for 40 damage to doing 175 damage. This game's balance is like so all over the place, chat. I cannot even understate how unbalanced this game is. <sighs> Wait, he only does two on contact damage? Well, that's something. Now let's kill them real quick. Get a little closer to that level up again. So, where do we go? Honest question. Can I go further down now? Because I hit a switch. Maybe it's like... Maybe we're in like a tower and I have to just constantly find a key to the next level, but instead of a level, I have to sit through a really long elevator sequence. Let's see if this works. So, so far, no items have been found, so this dungeon sucks. I <laughs> just like the state so far, chat. We've cleared quite a few rooms. They don't seem to matter. Okay. I'm assuming we have to do that to continue progression. So I'm guessing when it goes dark, that means I don't have the ability to power the elevator until I hit the switch again. Which seems like a really horrible place to work at if any generator could fail or someone could hit a switch on any floor, and there's just no way to escape. I, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 I didn't realize- I didn't realize we're just fighting the cube. Oh, just sentient cube, chat. Don't mind me. How much is cube worth? Alright, so let's take a look. Although I forgot to check beforehand. 26298. Two, so we're getting closer. 26298. How much is cube worth? What? How is this worth a hundred? What? What is the XP scaling? <laughs> what is the XP scaling in this dungeon? So this is even easier than the gunshot guy, and it's worth almost 
literally more than 20%, a little above 20% over the robot that would 3-shot me. This XP scaling is blowing my mind, chat. I just... I, my brain can't comprehend it. The robots are literally not worth fighting. Mathematically, it doesn't pan out. Why can't I walk across this? What? A am I missing something? Why, why can't I at least jump down this? What do you want me to do? XP scaling never heard of her. Pretty much. Oh, wow, we're doing 50... So now, yeah, one... Okay, so let me get this straight. Three strength equal 20-something damage? How much is weapon weakness in this game? We were doing 20 to him one level ago. Okay, chat, we are we are definitely going to complain about this when we're done with the game. How did one level equal 21 damage? Is weapon weakness like seven times damage? Like, think about how much that would have to multiply for that to calculate to that level. We were doing 15 to 21. I just did 42 with the same weapon. I just... Okay, so what do you want me to do? Do I need to do a run attack? Do I have to... Okay, I can't go off of that. Looks like there's a warp down there. Can I jump on? Okay, I can jump on this. I, I guess it's fair. Like, I can't jump over this one for reasons. Okay, so there's a warp there. Oh, there's several warps. Uh, let's take the closest warp. And that put me right next to the other area. I feel like killing him out of spite. Not that he's worth it. I mean, look at the damage range. We're doing between 50 and 72. It's quite a big range. Uh, we got it. We got to fight the cubes, chat. Our first chest. Okay, I was complaining. We got rewarded for complaining. I'm going to kill these because I would like to level up. Oh, I got absorbed by the cube briefly. That sucks. Didn't do that much damage, though, fortunately. But I think I lost XP. Welcome, Calvision. Hope you're doing well. Learn, got defense potion. You know what? We're gonna need that. How much do I need to level? Like, nothing. Pretty much nothing. Okay. So I guess as long as we level about once per area, we should be fine. Hmm. So that first warp was just for a potion, presumably. So that's fine. You know, those are the kinds of things I don't mind doing a one-off of. And honestly, that room was really good for XP. Three cubes in a row. It's pretty good. I don't really care about the robots. I can't jump up there. There's another warp. So I'm going to take it. Alright, it's less of a maze and more of an annoying way to travel at the moment. So I might have to un unstamp that other... Uh, is there a point to going over here? I don't think there is. Well, fortunately, we already know jumping goes. Now I'm only taking seven from them, sure. I would like to level before we leave this area. Log into database. Please enter the password. What is this? Login? Password? What's that about? This machine controls all systems in Baruga's lab. It's protected by a password to shield the data. So I can't do anything if I don't know the password? Heh, <laughs> just key in what I tell you. Bloody Mary. Oh, okay. Bloody Mary. Like that? Oh dear, indeed. Root password accepted. Elevators and cold sleep device password locked disengaged. Whoa, it opened on the first shot. Why does Yomi know something like that? Computer says, connecting to database. Access which data? We'll say past history. Dawn of humankind, okay. The date that Dr. Brugge announced his new biological theory. DNA engineering brought about cures for reoccurrent diseases. It also helped extend life and promote artificial intelligence. Cold sleep. The world's first super cold hibernation device made by Dr. Baruga 
It slowed the progress of rapid diseases and saved many lives. Okay, Earth's last day. The day an airborne infectious virus of 90% mortality struck, named Osmodeus, the virus just decimated the human populace. Some were saved by Dr. Baruga's vaccine, but lack of food spelled doom. Okay. Lab's objective. That was the boss from before. Undertook research and development of groundbreaking biotechnology. Because of highly hazardous work, robots are exclusively used. Vaccine. The vaccine for Osmodeus, with no space, was created here to stop the plague. Its effectiveness was measured to be over 80% recovery, but insufficient production meant it was available to only a few facilities. First floor is the robot assembly plant. B1 and B2 are the bio lab. B3 and beyond are under construction. Oh. Oh, so there's not that many floors. Okay. Well, I would like to level at some point, so let's go backwards. We're gonna level on the cube, chat. Or if I happen to kill these things in level... I mean, now that we're doing 65, it's not as horrendous. Take your money, though. I would like the level up glitch in the cube room, I'm not gonna lie. That would probably kill them nearly instantly. Let's go back to the game, please. Let's go back to the cube room. Oh, the cubes are worth a lot of money, too. Interesting. Just a little shy of leveling. Unfortunate. I should be pretty close, though. I think I needed about 400. I think killing these might level me. Also, that crit was insane. Okay. I guessed correctly. Another 13 health. A little extra damage. More defense. Crit chance up. I love that levels don't heal you in this game. That is so rude. Well, anyway, we've gained quite a bit of health. Unfortunately there, I got stuck. So with Strength Down, we're doing five. What happens when Strength Down wears off? How much do we do to the cube? 56, okay. Unfortunate, I messed up my dashes. Uh, you know what? I might as well just continue at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heal. And then we'll proceed. I don't think I'm going to need literally every healing item to go beat a boss. But these two levels definitely help. The question is more, do I want to save before we do the boss? I probably want to save before we do the boss. So I'm actually probably still going to leave the dungeon now that I think about it. I mean, do you, do you really want me to go through both of these floors again? I don't think I, I don't think I want to. I mean, I could technically save state to save chat some time, but we might as well just go back then. And then I could just go buy better magic rock stuff, maybe. So let's go back, refuel, and then we'll go tackle the boss. Because I don't want to be in a position where I have to sit through this like a million more times. And or have to level up again. So two levels. I feel like I'm probably now the right level. So I, I think I managed to catch up. I think backtracking briefly in uh, the waterfall area helped me. So ironically dying to the boss once I think corrected my level almost completely for this part of the game. So in a way dying was optimal <laughs> because it forced me to get that level up. Oh, I forgot you're part of the same thing. Let's go get a large bulb. Red armor is only one defense. I'm not buying it. Of 
Let's sleep in the very evil area. I'm sure things will be fine. So we're going to save our level up progress. I got a large bulb, which is much better than medium bulb. I think it's a difference of, what was it, 70 or 80 compared to 150. So I'd rather get the 150 heal. So we're up about... As I said before, about 20% health. Defense-wise, it didn't go up a lot. I maybe got about 10% defense. But you see our damage with the weapon weakness scales to, like, infinity. So I'm more happy we got the strength from that level up. So let's not refight those cubes. I guess I'll do- I'll mess with the dash mechanic as we're waiting. Okay, let's make some progress. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Riveting gameplay. Oh, oh, now the elevator goes fast? Whatever. Yeah, whatever game. Yeah, let's jump on an elevator that has completely open sides. That sounds like a good thing to do. Terra Enigma. In a world where the worm boss in PSO was... Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's a cutscene. I can't even move still. I'm sorry, what? Uh, um... Intruder alert! Attack mode on! Oh. Can I move? Or are you just gonna... Yeah, there we go. The, oh, the no, it's text attacking me. No, <laughs> okay, Chad. If you missed the last session, text attacks eat your inputs, so I can't dash spam because all it does is spam things that interrupt the dash attack. Oh my gosh, this is horrendous! <laughs> no, no, stop making it text spam. Oh, game, please. Yeah, see how- see how I was dashing and it just did the jab? Judgment is passed indeed. Why am I only doing one damage? What is happening? Oh, Terra Enigma, please. I just leveled. Chat saw it. I actually bothered to level in the dungeon. I don't feel like I was that underleveled a moment ago. Alright, well this weapon is legit useless. So what- what damage type is this? Light? Let's see if regular damage works. Oh my gosh, the delay! I hate it. Okay, so we're only doing four and I got strength down. Oh my gosh. I hate this boss so much, chat. This is one of those things where it's not a hard boss, but when it literally just takes away your ability to dash attack, it's so unfair. It just arbitrarily stops me from dash attacking. So unfair. Like, and there the game lags so much and ate my input again. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Did they, there's no way they play tested this. This is like such a bad user experience. Oh my gosh. Oh, the lag, please. Please stop spamming text attacks so I can actually do things. And it lagged me again, so I didn't have the minimum number of run frames. Of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, we're going to be here forever. So physical damage does do something. Do we have anything else that hurts this boss? Because it clearly took no damage from the other thing. Alright, so you... 
Changes defense into strength. Interesting. Could try earth, but that seems too low. I don't know. I could try it briefly. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I just swap it again. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Man chat. I didn't think there was a way the game could make me hate the bosses more, but we put it on your checklist. Game arbitrarily steals your attack buttons. Just put the stamp down. I'm going to try to win this, but this seems honestly pretty hopeless. This boss presumably has a lot of health, and we are not doing enough damage. I might have to go level again. Oh my gosh, I have to account for the lag frames. Oh, why do I have to account for lag frames while attacking? Miserable chat. This is just miserable. I hate this boss so much. Stop eating my dash attack! Oh my gosh! Game, please! Oh my gosh! Game, please! Alright, if I don't use the run button, it eats it a little less. So we have me. Oh, no. Oh no, it lagged me. It lagged me. Whiplash attack. Get out of here. Well, I didn't think we were going to use all of our healing items, but I also didn't think they would be stupid enough to put text in a boss battle, so... I tried to give them some credit, but this is just absolutely heinous. If we die again, I'm not going to do this boss until we level one more time. Anything to make this boss battle take less time. <sighs> Come on. Oh my gosh, trying to account for lag frames is the worst thing ever. That is not a thing a player should have to do. In a game where, like, you need really precise amount of time to go between attacks to keep in vulnerability, this is not how you should do a boss. Okay, if I die to this boss, I'm looking up how much HP this has, and I don't care that I'm looking it up. I need to know. For sanity's sake, I need to know how much HP this is. Stop eating my dash attacks! <laughs> I double tapped attacked! I'm not misinputting! Game, please, I beg of you to read my inputs as I'm inputting them. I beg of you to stop dropping inputs. Ah, this is such trash. Okay. Oh, the lag! So this is the Bloody Mary fight all over again. At least I'm, like, triple hitting it. So one level up. Okay, let's say we literally only do three extra damage. Because it is three weak points, I will be doing triple... Basically triple damage. It ate my input again. Of course it did. Ate my input again, because of course it did. Holy... What were they thinking? Miserable fight. And again, I don't even feel like I was that, like, underleveled. Couldn't do anything because it ate my inputs twice in a row. That is probably the most frustrating thing about this boss. It's not even like I don't know what to do. It just literally won't let me do the input that I'm doing. Which is just so stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. See, it ate my input yet again. Oh my gosh. I, ha I literally, to get that to read during the lag frames, by the way, chat, instead of double tap attacking, I'm literally quadruple pressing because it's eating almost like three inputs in a row. It's like insane. It's insane how many buttons I'm not able to input while the text is up and also the lag. It's actually insane. See, like, I could just do this over and over normally, but the moment, like, the text pops up, like, even the frame it appears, it eats an input because it's trying to render the text. And that time that was lag frames. Man. 
I'm running dangerously low on healing. Yeah. I don't know, chat. I thought we were not going to top the bullshit, but every single time, I think the bosses can't get worse in this game. They, this, you know, it somehow gets worse. Oh my gosh, game please. <sighs> Ate my input twice in a row, because of course it did. I'm actually almost out of healing. Question, am I allowed to use magic in this battle? Is this just one of those ones where it, it just allows it? Let's find out together. Nope. It's only Bloody Mary it works on, because that, you know, consistency. Stop eating my inputs! <laughs> I'm like, I know what to do, just let me do it! <laughs> oh my gosh! It was like, double tap, triple tap, quadruple tap. Do I have to quintuple tap? Like, how long- how many button inputs do I need to hit before this thing reads it? I think I'm dead here, chat. I, I don't have any more healing, I don't think. It's such BS. Alright, so we're gonna go level on the other floor, I think. I'm still gonna try to kill it in case I'm close. But I, I can't survive another lag attack at this point. I would not have thought I needed literally every healing item. Because, like, again, like, Bloody Mary was annoying and way too tanky. But, like, it was doable. This one, actually, I don't know if it's doable for me at this level. So that's why I'm just gonna level. Oh, the lag. Alright, well, we're dead in one hit, so we're not gonna beat this boss, I have a feeling. <sighs> Whiplash attack ate my input again. Alright, how much HP does this boss have? I'm looking it up right now. This is, this is just actually stupid. Let's find out together, chat. I don't like to look stuff up when I play. Unknown amount of HP. Chat, I'm going, I'm going to quote, I'm going to quote something I found in one Google search. Make sure you have a lot of bulbs. Also, level up until you're at least level 28. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, no, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, do you hear how insane that is? We're... That is actual insanity. Oh my gosh. That That's six levels. Oh my god. Like... Like, chat, these... This is just like... This is blowing my mind. <laughs> like, what is this BS? Holy... I would prefer not to do that, Terranigma. I prefer not to kill like 300 enemies. Okay, so according to another source, it is 620 HP per leg. Oh, that is disgusting. That is actually disgusting. It's per leg, it's not total HP. So I do have to actually kill it. So if... <laughs> wow, that is so tedious. That is so tedious. Holy. Well, it's grind o'clock, chat. There's no other weapons that I can use. I don't have anything that seems to be a weakness yet. Who knows, maybe if we level enough, we'll find another weakness. So, yeah, if it's... Let me think. That was just the first floor. I think I'm gonna go down one more floor. 
so like, okay, let, let's think about like other things we could do because the game is lagging so damn hard that I can't dash attack. Like for the whiplash attack, right? I could probably guard those projectiles, but it, we also know guard in this game is ultra jank because it doesn't guard your entire character height because why would it? That would make too much sense. So I'm still scared of hitting guard and getting hit anyway. So anyway, we're going to at least level once. Having a little extra defense does help a lot. Actually, I think due to ability to reset, this might be faster just to kill these two cubes. Although actually, I think the previous floor was faster. You know what? Let's go to the previous floor. I think the four robot reset is faster than double cube. Or not robot, but the four whatever you want to call them. What a ludicrous difficulty jump. Like, they really thought you were going to grind for hours in the dungeon? Actually stupid. Alright, let, let's go for two level ups and see how it feels. So, if I'm doing four damage, I'll be doing ten. So, I need to get about sixty... About 60 hits on the legs. I think I could do that. I am not grinding to level 28. Like, you're actually out of your mind. I'm not double hitting. That's unfortunate. So we kill in four hits and they're way easier and I don't potentially lose XP. So I think if we go to that one room, we should be fine. And it is absolutely worth killing everything on the way there because I need to level twice. So let's see, if I get about, let's say 10 damage, I have to get 60 hits per, I could probably health tank it then. I'll have a little more HP. I'll still need to heal about as often. So I don't think anything changes there. But yeah, like we're seeing what happens when the boss isn't given a weakness. How unkillable everything is. So on the plus side, we'll have a lot of cash. I could technically go get the red armor in case it has something I should actually wield. It costs like what, 666? Maybe they thought people were going to grind the red armor or something? I don't know. So we are 100% saving after I level, by the way. Because I am not re-grinding this. So sorry, Chad. We're in for... The game refuses to let us beat it easily. That difficulty spike is one of the stupidest so far. See, like, it's not that hard to just chain these attacks. I think I'm proving that it's, like, it's 100% the game lagging. When I can just do this repeatedly, and I can even change direction without, like, that much of an issue. Like, it's not me. It is actually just straight up the game. Because we were doing this earlier without any issues. So if all I had to do was this to beat the boss, I would be fine. So I'm going to have to adjust, like, I'm playing a fighting game online. I wonder how speedruns deal with this. I'm really curious too. I, I'm sure they probably find a way to glitch levels or something. Uh, there is no way they play that boss legit. Yeah, I don't want to know now. I don't want to know now during the playthrough. Maybe at the end we'll look it up. But like, this is just horrendous. I'm thinking because there's four of them here, it's better than triple cube with a longer walk. That's what my thought process is. Triple cube is good XP, don't get me wrong. It might be worth doing it. If we wanted to go to 28, I might go to triple cube later. So we'll do about six more damage. So if we could get to that point, I think I can win. So we got another 12 HP. Oh, only two strength. Mm. More crits is good. Crits also speeds up the boss battle significantly. Yeah, like, that boss fight is just really unfun. We're to the point where we triple hit, which is not too bad. Out of curiosity, for sanity's sake. 
I'm like 3,000 more XP. Jeez. Ooh, the crits, though, save a lot of time. Also, do, do the enemies do variable damage, or do they just do different damage if they're jetpacking or not? Why did that do 8 that time, but the other time it did 4 before my level ups? Whatever. I might as well as buy the red armor if I end up with enough cash. Unless it gives no other bonuses, then I'm not going to bother. Because we have to go back to town no matter what. I'm not... We're not going in with anything less than the amount of healing items we have now. I don't think a small bulb will really save me that much. Because it's only 20. Medium bulb might make a difference. So, four less damage... Probably over the course of it gives me effectively like another 60 to 80 health. So I could probably survive at least one more attack due to that. And I might also be able to delay the healing slightly. It's a shame I don't have like a full heal item. I just have like the set HPs. So yeah, there is just... If there was not a massive atrocious, atrocious amount of lag, I would have beaten the boss as is. I would have just grounded out and decided to continue. But for now, let's proceed. Yeah, we're getting to the point where we basically triple hit. So a nice double hit with a proper lunge will mean insta-death, which is kind of nice. Where at this point, I could just hold it for Chapter 4. Yeah, let's hold our money for Chapter 4 in case there is actually something good to use. So anyway, this is proof that I could chain these, in case chat was doubting. <laughs> just not in that boss battle, which is actually too horrendous. There we go, nice level up. Please give me more HP. Why am I getting less health on level up? So I'm doing five extra damage. Is that enough? That's a bit lower than I want it to be, to be honest. Okay, how, how much of a grind is it to the next level? You know what, chat? I really don't feel like redoing this boss battle. We're gonna get one more level. If it gave me strength three on both of those, that's fine. But I would like to not have to do 80 hits compared to 60 hits. And this might reduce it to like 50 hits. Which is a much more sane number to deal with. So I'm going to unfortunately grind. Because I also have to think of it this way. What if they have another boss this horrible after this boss? I need the experience anyway. Yeah, let, let's just get one more level up. I don't like grinding in video games, but I think this is just one of those exceptions. The boss is just literally too horrendous. I never want to do it again. So we're going to take a safety level up here. So that way it does not take like five eternities. It also technically saves us cash in the long run because I might have to use less healing. So this might prove useful depending on what shop upgrades are here after this. Nice double hit. Another horrible boss and terrible enigma could now couldn't be. Welcome, Kirk. We are grinding because the next boss is, like, borderline impossible, as is. Like, I'm sure if I perfectly react to every lag frame, I'm sure I could get through untouched. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to. So sadly, we're going to have to see the elevator again. I apologize for making you sit through the elevator, but that's also the game's fault for making that unskippable. I mean, at least it goes fairly quickly here, but yeah, this game is definitely meant for people that just grind endlessly, and I am not one of those players in the slightest. 
So fortunately, we should be almost done with the leveling. I'm hoping this extra level will put us in a point where even if we get strength down a couple times, the extra damage from the level up will make up for it. That That's my, th my thought process. I just need to make sure not to get hit by the left side and we should be good. So we have a decent amount of cash in case there's a purchasable weapon later. There we go, we just leveled. 14 health, okay. Strength up by 3, that's huge. More importantly, we want we want to crit as often as possible. So we'll get a couple more kills and then we'll leave. We'll call that going to game please. We'll call that going towards the one of the final times that we have to level, presumably. So yeah, just horribly, horribly unbalanced game. I think if we actually had weapon weakness, we would have been completely fine. If that boss had any weapon weakness at all, we wouldn't have needed to grind. Yeah, like, it's just it's just not even doable. And think about it this way, chat. Like, I on purpose leveled before the boss. I didn't have to fight anything to go to the boss. I could have been literally doing one damage instead of seven. As I said before, we'll get a couple of safety kills for the future in case I need to level for the final boss. Because these enemies are relatively easy. And even if the other enemies are worth like 150 or 200, these enemies are on the way, so I don't lose that much time. See, so yeah, I'm going to hope with about six extra defense. We're taking about 70 a hit now, so that makes kind of an important difference. Six defense is not insignificant. That's We're taking 10% less damage. More importantly, I'm going to be doing somewhere between, I think, 8 and... Or maybe 9 and about 12 damage. I think. Actually, more like more like between uh, 10 and 13. So that, that will help make up for the fact that sometimes we will just have low rolls or I'll get strength downed. So hopefully with this little bit of extra health, we could beat this boss. So I went one level above where I thought we needed because I don't want to redo this boss fight. I right, use the back room. We're going to do that and save. Disgusting how many levels we needed. By the way, we started today's session at 20. We're now at 25. Because it the game was just literally that unplayable. <laughs> I was just like, okay. Oh, man. Let's go save. Yeah, like, now if we have to grind, I definitely want to fight in the triple cube. Because I think I do enough damage to reduce the number of hits needed to kill the cubes. And the reset isn't super terrible. Just the other reset was so fast. that even if the other one was worth XP, I don't know if it was more XP per second. So anyway, back to, back to BS. You know what the worst part is, though, chat? When we're fighting with the three-part rod, that weapon actually gives us defense, as a reminder. It's a reminder. Is it possible I'm missing armor? That was the only other thing I was thinking of. Hmm. It might be worth actually looking for an armor, because if there's an armor upgrade here, that would also explain why that boss fight felt pretty unfair. Like, it still wouldn't forgive how absolute garbage Hmm. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back up a floor. I was thinking about it. There's actually a place I think I didn't go. So this this would make the boss fight way more doable, but we still needed those levels regardless because I was doing four damage on a boss with 650 health. It, I know you missed that earlier, Kirk, but the boss had 650 health per part. I was doing four doing four damage which is not good 
So did I actually look to see what was down here? I don't think I did, right? Like, did I look to see if there was anything I could do over here? Hmm. I just, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing between here and somewhere else. Like, I missed a hidden room somewhere or something stupid. Like, I could have gone in here. So let's investigate the first floor a bit more thoroughly. Because I feel like we also did have a lack of items. So it's very possible that there could have been something that we needed. Oops, sorry, chat. I'm just making sure. Don't care about these. Was there anything like over here? Can I crawl through there? No. Because anything that, if, if we reduce like a, let's say five defense, if we get five less or five more defense, I think we're completely fine. Then I don't think we'll reset. It doesn't have to give anything else. No, it seems like there's nothing here. That's a shame, chat. Oh, well. Oh, let me make a note. I think it was 666 for the uh, red armor, I think. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, that's big damage. Yeah, we're basically one-shotting the robots. Ah, so we're getting free XP. I mean, at least we're at the point where we literally one-shot. So we could see the damage total the game thought we should be doing to them now, right? 460 damage. Like, think about how crazy weapon weakness is. Oh, did I ever do this? Oh, hold on, hold on. Was there an item right back here? I was thinking about that. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think I ever went here. Okay, so there is an armor here. Okay, so it was worth coming back. I was like, it felt a little weird we got that far without seeing anything. So it's five extra defense. Deflects death curses. Oh, that's pretty good. That's kind of literally what I needed, actually. Also, that gave me more HP. I just noticed. Is that 40 HP? Yeah, 40 HP. Okay. Okay, so it was worth exploring because I did say it was weird we didn't find any items, so that checks out. Yeah, I'm kind of scared about Death Curse. I don't know what that is, but hey, maybe we need it for the end game? Question mark. So I'm feeling pretty good about our odds of beating the boss now. I'm not going to go back and save. Because we've gone up about 11 defense, so se the 70 damage one is only doing less than 60 now. So instead of getting 4 shot, it's it would have to hit me 5 times already. So that's probably fine. So I have like basically... Every every full health refill is another attack I can I can last. No, I don't get one shot that way. We we already saw what the boss was, Kirk. It's awful. It's just awful. Truly, truly terrible. So let's hope that these levels matter and I don't need to reset. Also, this is like the world's longest. <laughs> Yeah, Kirk is experiencing what the chat has experienced for like the past hour. The uh, unskippable elevator. 
This long ass cutscene into the boss. Holy. Please let me move. Oh, oh, we're suddenly doing 30 damage? Oh, whatever. Chat, whatever. Whatever. What BS. Okay, okay. Never mind, chat. We're fine. This this will be fine. Even with the lag. We were doing four earlier, by the way. Now they're only doing 21? Whatever. <laughs> These level ups are so BS. <laughs> Wait, where's my healing? Wait. Wait, did it... When I continued, it it took my healing? Oh, th that sucks. Uh, well, I guess GG. I didn't think that would take my healing, but apparently it did. Okay. I mean, maybe I could still beat this. It's gonna be hard, though. Although, no, I'm around. I'm getting lag attacked. Huh. I didn't realize continue burned your items. I guess we learned the hard way. But on the plus side, that should mean I have soul armor. The lag game, please. Please. Yeah, so we should be fine. I, I did kill one of the legs. But sadly, we got cheated. We absolutely got cheated in that boss battle. I just needed some healing. Okay, so if it's going to continue, then I'm just going to go buy large herbs. So we were almost done with the boss battle, by the way. Yeah, I thought when it warped us here, it didn't keep us with anything. So that actually really sucks that I lost the larger or bulbs. I mean, whatever. I should be fine. We literally popped the leg. Yeah, those people saying like level 28, get out of here. We, we could have done it one level lower. I was literally adding the damage, but I guess it has a weakness to physical. I honestly strength in this game makes no sense. So yeah, we'll be fine now. I just needed literally any healing and it would have been good. Check to make sure we have the armor. I mean, we should. Yeah, I still have the armor. I didn't realize it just didn't give... I just thought it death warped you there. I mean, I guess it kind of worked like that in Illusion of Gaia, I guess. I guess I should have been too surprised. It is annoying, though. I have to go somewhere else for the other bulbs. So, like, I don't... Given that we're doing 30-something damage, we should be fine. We should be fine. That's way higher than I wanted to go. Though I probably could have done it one level lower. Knowing that somehow 9 strength equaled 30 damage. Like, is its weakness actually physical damage? Like, think about that. Yeah, so for all, for all the for all the babies writing the guide saying you need to hit like level 28, tell them to just do better. Roll your eyes, chat. This is why we ignore most of the resources online. So we should be fine now. I, now that I have healing. And at least most of our money went back towards the healing items, so that's fair. So all I need is to not lag out and we should be fine. Also, I love this like super long pause before you can move. It's not me waiting. I'm holding a direction, by the way, the whole time. Did the boss miss me? <laughs> That's interesting. Lag. Yeah, getting hit by the left side kind of sucks. Yeah, now our damage is low. Combo attack? Right, let's just get a heal here. 
Yeah, so as a reminder, chat, every time text pops up on the screen or the game lags, it eats your inputs. It does not buffer them. You straight up just lose them. If you're wondering why I'm getting hit so often, it's because arbitrarily my moves just don't register at all. Literally arbitrarily. Let's just outrun this for now. So one of them's almost completely gone. I'm gonna do this to try to level two whiplash, okay. <sighs> the text right as I hit the attack is the most annoying part. Is it lags it like just enough that I don't get the dash attack? It's so horrendous. I'm gonna try to bait missile attack. It seems to actually care what side I'm on, which is interesting. I don't mind getting toasted, I just... Oh, come on! That's what I didn't want to have happen. I don't want to get hit by the left side because it stalls the boss battle out significantly. The back-to-back -back judgments. Game, please let me move. I beg of you to let me move. Okay, well now this is going to take forever. Because I keep getting lag stun locked. Man, I hate this boss so much. It's like such an interesting concept ruined by the game's own mechanic of lag. Like they really needed it to not do that. Okay, we're gonna be here a while. I think one of the legs is almost destroyed. Let's get a quick heal. Yeah, it's like this boss fight should have been fun, but it's just it's just not because of the lag. It's like unbearably horrible. Oh, like, look at look how much lag happens there. Okay, so the, the front leg is done. So I just need to hit the back legs a couple times, and then I guess the boss fight is over. Like, I actually am trying to physically watch how far I'm moving. Okay, all the legs are done. One last trick. Oh, the lag! The lag! It's so bad! Holy... Oh, those are the little scooty things from Soul Blazer. Last gas attack was unsightly. Is the boss battle actually over? I guess. Kinda awkward that it didn't say blah 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 was defeated. Well, we found the zombies. It's like all sense of accomplishment and satisfaction from feeding the bosses of the god. It's like, if the boss didn't lag, we would have beaten it the previous try. I don't think I would have been hit that often. I would have messed up a couple times, but not like mess up 14 times level of mess ups with a uh, super lag. Stupid game. Oh, yeah, Chad, I don't think I mentioned this last time, but remember the couple at the waterfall caves or whatever, and the ghost went away? I double-checked. Those were the names of the couple that were in Illusion of Gaia as well as in Soul Blazer. So I believe those are supposed to canonically be the same people between those games because they had the same kind of weird names. Can we just kill this guy? Oh, look, there's a little teleporter over here. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for arousing me. I'm gonna say word choice on that one. I am Baruga. As you can see, I am a practitioner of science. When the world died, I took to a long sleep. Yes. Until the resurrection of humans. I wish to show you something. Follow me. What if I just sit in your warp? I just do this.
I'm just running through with the spear. We're just not going to talk about the security guard or anything we killed to get here. We're just casually following him. Also, why couldn't this be a cutscene that put me over here? Why do I have to wait for him? I created this life. Isn't it beautiful? With this system, people can live forever. Death is no longer fearful. Talk to the zombie in the nutrient bat. The zombie? It's looking at me. Hey, the zombie looks incredibly sad. Is it really a happy thing to revive the dead? People didn't die. The world will be filled up immediately. Naturally taken that into account. The unnecessary shall die. And only the necessary lives. That's all. What? Why aren't we just killing this guy, by the way? Oh, that's why. Whoa. You seem to be a bit hot-headed. Oh, he punned us. You better not get too close to me. Be aware of the three laws of robots. Was this really happening? In essence, robots must not harm people. Oh, BS! Oh, no, 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 no. Objection! <laughs> what was the whole other part of the dungeon? <laughs> robots must protect people. Those conditions are met. A robot must protect itself. The robots here have one more rule governing their behavior. Anyone deemed to be a threat to my person must be terminated now. Okay, there we go. There we go. My liege shall soon re-emerge from the underworld. My liege himself is the world and knows all things. Let us witness the world on the verge of great progress. I feel like we made the world worse again. What is he summoning Lavos? Oh, they wiped out Neo Tokyo? Good. At least I think that's Neo Tokyo. Yeah, it looks like Neo Tokyo. They they deserved it. I'll be real with you. Goodbye, Quintet Building. <laughs> now the playtesting will go forever unfinished. Right, Chad? <laughs> I guess some things never change. Chad, are we finally done with Chapter 3, by the way? Please let us be done with Chapter 3. I beg of you. Arkra, you have done well to groom the world so far. Uruga will make this world fantastic. Your duty is finished. You shall rest eternally. Oh, the Elder was evil. I mean, I guess it makes sense. He had the murder basement. I guess this would be more impactful if I talked to him more often. So, I'm going to die. I wonder what I fought for all this time. Now you're thinking about what you fought for? You just drugged the castle and you had no reason for it? What an idiot. Bad end is good enough end? Yeah, I agree, Dango. Was what I did shaping a world like Baruka wanted? Somebody tell... me. I don't want to die without knowing. No, I'm okay with you dying. I'll be real with you. If the game just ended here, I would, I would give them a round of applause. Okay, I can't move. That's right, Arkra. You must not die at a place like this. You exist outside the loop of fate, so you can change fate. Whatever that means. This world needs you. I'll transport your body to me. Now don't slip away. What? Oh, you've come too. Wait, don't try to move. Arrived just as Lord Kumari came with you terribly injured. May be aware of this. But the Star of Darkness has re-emerged. Erase the city from the world with no effort. Akra, if you have the will, ask the Lord Kamari the way. Before the Star of Darkness consumes us all. Wait a minute, chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is still not the end of Chapter 3? Oh! 
when does it end? <laughs> How is it not over? Fine, we'll go talk to Lord What's-His-Face. Please let this chapter end. Arkra, I'm glad you're safe. You met him, didn't you? The man they call Baruga. Introduced the Star of Darkness and Red Disharmony. The balance of life was shattered, leaving man unaffected by death. And in Lahasa, there is an old saying. Starstones laid at the grave at time's end calls the golden child. Now you're just making stuff up. Mayhu journeyed far, seeking the truth behind the saying. Mayhu only managed to obtain fleeting glimpses of the truth. Human fate is in a fixed loop. What one seeks is not always found. You are different. You exist outside the loop of fate. Seek out the star stones and place them at the grave at time's end. What? Are we actually seriously going like full Chrono Trigger? What's the talk about time's end here? There's no other way of realigning the disrupted loop of fate. I feel like we were just fed a whole bunch of gibberish. Other than I need star stones because magical things happen, I guess. How is this still... Is, is it... Is it... Oh, we could take a picture of Lahasa, I think. No, no we can't. So... Yeah, I think only Neo Tokyo was destroyed. Hmm... sure if there's some like i'm just trying to think We're, okay so nothing in the old world seems different so maybe we just try to leave please don't make me walk through that desert again i i beg of you to not make me go through that desert again i'm so tired of going through that desert chat i can't i can't i can't understate how much i don't want to go back here so we can ignore gobi desert Double checking what's over here. Oh, it's the Nomad Camp, but there's no shops I can really use there, so I'm gonna ignore that. Please don't make me walk through this again. I hate you so much, game. I'm so disappointed right now, chat. I think doing this led me exactly to where I needed to go. We're just gonna slowly walk up here until we hit the other landmark. Oh, unless that was it with the cactus. Oh, no, no, it's there. Okay, so that works. Go through the skull for reasons. Just get out of here, Chad. I just want to get out of here. So, like, maybe there is only three chapters? Um, I could check out the other towns to see if they're still expanding. Just to double check. Just to say that we did these things. I mean, the lore, I think, is done. But since I'm here, I might as well buy my healing items again. Yeah, so we didn't use that many healing items. We used three healing items. I think that was a pretty tame amount. I'll buy a couple of cure status ailments. Just in case. Although, actually... I'm gonna check one more thing. So no weapon upgrades. 
I don't think I'm gonna look beyond this point. Okay. Hmm. I do want to get more healing stuff. Oh, wait, you're the fortune teller. I don't know. I don't, oh, don't want to talk to you. Oh, you're the magic rock shop. In a dream, sand, ice, mountain, and ruins. Okay, well, we know where the star stones are vaguely. I don't know how to trigger the dream, but I have a feeling I know where the others are. So are we just straight up revisiting the areas we've already been to? If so, that's kind of irritating. All right, let's just buy three full heals. Save us some time later. Hmm. So... I think I have one star stone. So I think that was from the Land of Ice. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we just need to get to a place with an airplane. So I think Australia... There was the mountain, so one, it said mountains, right, as one of the destinations. So logically speaking, probably the crazy old guy should be there now. So that that's where another one is. Got the, so that would be mountain. Desert, I'm not sure. It could be one of the places in Africa, maybe? Hmm... Not entirely sure. Anyway, let's sail to Australia for now. Oops. And that's fine. I don't think there's anything here at this point that matters. Let's just... In case I... If I did forget a chest, whatever. I don't care anymore. Let's go clear up the game. So presumably this person should be here. So we got the one in the ridiculous... Penguin collection. I'll try Africa again after this. I was looking like... It's, it, it could be there, or it could be, uh... I don't think it... I mean, it could also be in the ruins of the, uh... What was that? Europe or Asia? Where we fought, were in the zombie area. Man says, I am a scientist. This place is the least polluted when Earth is endangered like now. I intend to witness the world end here. Would you listen to me? Sure. A certain race revered this grand view and vast nature as God. But today... Modern societies make a racket about persevering or preserving nature. When did humans become so big to think they can protect gods? Perhaps the beginning of the end started there. Thought those things. Thought all the while I watched this beautiful world. Gradually became aware of a voice calling my name from somewhere. An older boy will appear bearing a rod. A voice said to me to give the boy my star stone. The voices seem to emanate from the very earth. Take this stone. I've always had it with me since I was a child. Arkra tamed star stone. Okay. Hmm. There we go, time savers. Um. I mean, maybe I should. Oh, I keep hitting that by accident. I'm gonna visit Neo Tokyo eventually. Let's try going back to Africa, seeing if there's a place I can port up. Hmm. Although I'm starting to forget what the clues were again, so that's unfortunate for me. I'm gonna assume about one per continent, I think will be a, a safe assumption. 
Was there a port here? I mean, there was this weird mention of Cape Town, but we can't do anything there. Hmm. Okay, there's the caravan. Do any of you know where this is? Also, it's weird that I have to talk to him twice in order to purchase stuff. Sure, I'll get... You know what? I don't need any more poison cure. Um... Was there, like, a tile in here in the Sahara Desert? I mean, we'll check out one desert at a time. I'd prefer not to go to the zombie place unless I really think it's here. Oh, were you here before? Person must have collapsed. Hope I don't end that way. Akra, look at the skeleton's neck. It's something that looks like a necklace. Oh no, the stone on the necklace. Don't you recognize it? Oh hey, is this the stone Lane found at the canyon? He said he was going to treasure it forever. So why is it here? Oof. Human probably snuck into the lion's den. They'll go anywhere if they smell money. Arc Rotane Starstone. I don't know if this was here the last time. I feel like the answer was no. So I'm glad that I didn't remember if there was anything here or not. All right, so where else could we go? So we went to ice, we went to mountain, we went to desert. I think they mentioned dream, which I'm not sure how to do that one. Hmm. Uh, since I don't know what to do, let's go to Neo Tokyo maybe. And then I think we're just on our own, chat. Oops. I just want to see if it's like a visitable location. If it has like monsters and stuff in it, then I'm going to delay going there. I was just checking my notes. So nothing changed here, right? Yeah, we can't do anything in Yunko. Okay. Um, We still didn't level up Australia, but I don't know if we will, question mark, at this point. Okay, this is sounding like a dungeon. I might come back here. It's not like there's anybody to talk to. Hmm. Um, would this count as ruins for the star stone? Mm, I should I should probably do it then. Let's make sure there's nothing here. You know what? We never got resolution on that whole they're keeping a lion in the antique shop thing. By the way, I wonder if that's ever gonna come up again. Oh, glowing dot thing. What? What is that sound? Sounds like it's coming from the desk in the corner. Looks like there's a transceiver in the drawer. Akira Tame Transceiver. I love that I can't see what it looks like because the text box is in the way. Thanks, game. 10 out of 10. They thought about that. Girl's voice can be faintly heard. Help! Someone help! There's someone alive. There's a survivor here. I'm help. Daddy! Mommy! Can you hear me? Where are you? Come help! That girl doesn't sound like she knows how to operate the unit. 
He's probably got the talk button pressed the whole time. Hey, release the button! Quiet. You hear that sound behind her voice? No. Help! Isn't anybody there? Oh, now the sound effect is loud. It sounds like very garbled water. Yeah, there it is. Hear it? The sound of flowing water. There's no river in this town. So that means... Oh no, Chad, a sewer level? We're doing this again? The sewers, most likely. There has to be a way underground. Well, maybe she has a star stone? So I guess we'll continue for now. Hmm. Oh, this is open now. I'm certain this was locked before. Okay. What <laughs> are the water temples of cities? Oh my gosh. Oh, what a stench. This is overwhelming. The more fancy a town, the more dirty at the back. I have to breathe through my mouth to save my nose. Okay. Are there monsters? Okay, there are. But they're pretty easy to kill. Yeah, that's a good sign. Oh, that's not a good sign. What are you? Now let's check how much XP we need to level. We have basically full healing. 4189890890. How much are you worth? 90 ish? Because it was 88. Eh. It's locked. Oh, just you guys? What the? Oh, you robbed me. Lobber stole the cash? I'm. Do you mean robber? Translation team, please. Please fix the very obvious thing that they wanted to go for. <laughs> right, chat? Just shake your head. Come on, translation team. Might as well just kill some of these things. Do you have a machine gun? What the heck is going on? Wow, there's there's no animation startup. He just does it full screen. Nice. Well, we got another level up before the end of the game, so maybe we'll be fine. Luck four is kind of big. Let's go ahead and just we're just gonna go ahead and just grass pin it up. They do drop a lot of money. Also, we'll check out the U.S. at some point, regardless. We're in control. Someone help! Mommy, I'm scared! Ah! Well, what? What happened? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's go collect our necklace or whatever. <laughs> right, chat? Screw, screw Neo Tokyo. I don't feel bad for these people. Let it burn. Oh, hello. Retain sewer key. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I might as well just keep killing, as I said before. You never know if we need another level up. And at least they're mostly on the way. 
Do you like their absolutely silent machine guns, by the way? Didn't realize they had stealth SMGs. Wow, you really just locked me in a cutscene here? Is this really happening? Someone help! Someone help me. Please stop locking me in place. A lion! A lion is chasing me! Yeah, get her! Eat the small child! <laughs> I'm rooting for the lion on this one, Chad. Screw this place. Someone, please! Oh, is it gonna end up being Liam or whatever? A lion? In the sewers of Neo-Tokyo. That's what the silencers are for. Oh, that is a lot of money. Okay, so they have a chance of dropping 80 or like the big money for like 400. So I'm assuming you just do this if you just want cash in this game. Interesting. I don't think I really need it anymore. I'm assuming our armor makes us immune to the phantoms, maybe? Okay, so we're gonna use the key. Hey! A lion! It's coming! Help! Calm down. Are you the only one alive? Help, please! Hurry, hurry! Uh. You get him, Simba stand-in. Hmm. I see a chest up there. I'm, I'm not gonna not? Oh, kind of tanky. What's this? Holy water. Oh, disappointing. Okay, let's go this way. We're at the pond. Okay, it did one damage to us. That's a good sign. Of course, I picked the wrong path. We're gonna go back for the treasure and murder this guy. Holy sewer water, pretty much. What's this? Luck potion. I mean, crits are good. Crits are genuinely very strong in this game. Magic rock over there if I really want it. Honestly, they're kind of useless. I, I already have like basically max healing. Oh, I forgot to see how much the robots were worth. You know what? You take too long to kill. I'm gonna ignore you. In case I have to come back, I might as well just hit him. Oh, we're in a sewer maze. Oh, speaking of which. Let's, let's check how much XP this is worth. 4,500. Well, that makes it easy. You're worth... 99? Okay, they're pretty easy to kill. Obtain the fall shirt. Assuming that's an actual weapon upgrade. So we could trade defense for power, presumably. Does it have any elements? Knife... Tipped rod used by samurais. Okay, I mean, 10 extra attack, I'm not gonna say no. But the extra defense might be more useful for general navigation. Yeah, so we want basically two shot or one shot if I land correctly. Sure, I'll get the magic rock. They have no more purpose. I don't plan on using them outside of healing for the rest of the game. Uh, I'll start with the far left. Oh, there's just a giant mecha in the sewers. Damn it, Japan. Titan King Armor. Is it actually better than what we have? Well, if this is too defense, but I don't... If this doesn't give... Well, I'm not going to equip it right now. If I get injured, we'll check it. So if that doesn't give me strength or something else, I don't see why I would wear the king armor. Two defense is not worth it. But yeah, there's just a mecha in here. 
Japan, stop flushing your collectibles in the toilet. This is what happens. They turn into giant killing machines. A lot of money. Oh, we're at 9100 already. So I could have bought the red armor, but it's already obsolete. Please don't eat me. Okay, come on then. Battlemaster Arkra is your blind date. Uh. Purr? Lions don't purr. Jeez. Japan, come on. <laughs> At least look up animal. Animal facts. Ugh. Huh? What's the matter with him? Arkra, I got it. Don't you recall seeing this lion? Take a good close gander now. Yeah! It's Liam. The cover helped on that test of his. That's right. It's been a long time. Oh, right. Can't understand animals anymore. When, w when we were in that canyon, he was so small and cute. This lion suddenly got quiet when he saw you. I wonder what happened. This guy's called Liam. He's an old friend of mine. A lion friend? Wow, that's neat. I wonder if I could be a second human friend. Okay. What happened in Neo Tokyo? People suddenly vanished just like that. Daddy and mommy disappeared right in front of my eyes. I was all alone after that. I was really lonesome. The strange voice from this pendant would talk to me. It'd cheer me up saying light will shine if I live on. I'm very brave. It's hard being all alone. You're all alone too, I can tell. I know. I'll give you this pendant. We'll give you courage. A great team, Starstone. I guess that checks out. Voice came from the transceiver. Anyone read me? If anyone could hear me, answer me. Repeat, we are... Freedom's research team. Does anyone hear me here? We're saved. We hear you. We're in a sewer pipe near the storage reservoir. There's a girl here and an animal friend. They need help. We read you. We're on our way. Help will come soon. Okay. I think I could be friends with this lion. Oh, please kill her in the meantime. Liam, gotta keep moving. Can you protect this girl? Roar. I love how there's just... I love how there's just all these bones and presumably other dead people, and we're just never going to get an explanation for it. So chat, I'm going to do my best to remember. I think it was the bone pin that was a teleport. Do I have the bone pin? I think it was this one. Yes, that feels right. There we go, chat. I did it. I remembered something about the game <laughs> between playthroughs. <laughs> we did it, yay. I didn't want to walk through the damn sewers again. Um, Should I go to the US at some point? Hmm. There was that weird temple on the side over here. That I don't know if we could have to do anything with it yet. Strange voice whispered in Arkra's head. Arkra, take the goblet placed on the altar. Oh. So this was where we had to go. Look at that, chat. I remembered two things from a previous stream. Arkra, as if hypnotized, carried the goblet to his lips. Yeah, let's just drug up. It's fine. 
thought we would have to do a little more. I was just going to check to see if, if the, they were filled, but apparently they're now filled. And we pass out. This is Astracia, the holy land that observes the growth of humans. There's ghosts here for some reason. Arkra, on awakening, you shall be witness to an odd vision. Pharrell, freedom's peril? I am Pela, priest serving Lord Mela. Go hear what Lord Mela wishes to tell you. Mainland? It is you. What are you doing here? How dare you? I am Malia, a priest serving Lord Mela. Okay. Mela says a holy ceremony is held yearly, as a Stracia's custom, at the six goblets on the altar. Night Dune collects over a year. One of them is said to bring the drinker close to the gods. The Chosen drinks one and spends a year without food or drink. Drinking the wrong goblet means death. Oh, so this they just watched Indiana Jones? Is that what I'm getting out of this? But if the correct choice is made, a god is born from our tribe. From the last ritual, today is exactly one year. Two priests have gone to inspect, but they have not returned. Therefore, I'd like to ask a skilled warrior like you to go. Okay. Do I have to do anything else? Hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in the dial. Okay, I have a question. How many star stones are we up to? Four. Alright, so this might be the last one then. So, I don't know what the game wants me to do, so... Do I talk to you again? No. Do I push? I push, okay. here what do we do right chat hmm um thing seems to be happening do i need to dash into the wall or crawl let's put on the speed shoes for now if nothing else because there's nothing i don't see anything to crawl into let me get a running start and head bash the wall. Nope. Hmm. Uh. So something I could have interacted with on the way here. Maybe I have to move one of these. That did something. So I can move them, but I don't know what I need to do for it. I try resetting it. Hmm. Oh no, I just realized what they want me to do. Oh, that's gross. Do I really have to push each of these? Oh, come on. What a time waster. Disgusting. <sighs> Terra Enigma. Presumably they just go through here. That's not where it wants to place them. I'm going to be very sad. Woo, tedium, yeah. I'm like, this is really not necessary. That should open the obvious door that was there. Or 
course. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it made us do that. So we're at eight, five, eight, nine, three. How much XP are these things worth? There's a chest. Nine, nine, one. Okay, yeah, that's okay. What is that? Another hundred and two? It's a qu so close enough. It's about 100. Every one of these enemies is about 100. So I could just have to kill about 20 to level. The acquired holy suit. Yeah, 98. <laughs> but I like to joke. No problem, Dango. Just, the game is just very dumb. It's not your fault. So. Changes strength into luck. Removes confusion. Um, how about no? I'm gonna go with a how about no. I think I'd rather have my HP. It's even less defense, so I have like no motivation to do that. Actually, let's see how much XP you're worth. So now we are at... Also, it's very weird to me the central door is on the far right. It's, I, I guess... Fine. Four six one eight seven. Four six one eight seven. Okay, let's see. Then we get six two five six. So those are really not worth it. <laughs> okay, that's the first time we have an enemy that is just not worth fighting at all. It is way less than the other ones for no reason. It's eye was open. How is it closing in like a frame? Game, please. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, there's more than one. That makes more sense. Also, it's eye was definitely open when I lunged at it. Game, please. These stupid things out of here. I didn't have a problem with its design until I realized it stops you from dash attacking and making progress. I just do this and not fight it. Thank you. <laughs> excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. Let's get the magic rock, I guess. I'm just gonna face tank the damage. I don't feel like fighting these things. They're too slow. Yeah, they were they're horrendously under. Unbelievable. You chose the correct goblet. So, you were alive. I can see the scene a year ago. I took you as you wailed to the back of the altar. And you became totally alone. You endured that year of solitude and became superhuman. This year was long. It felt like centuries. I spend every day in fear that the candle of life will be snuffed. But I never died. When I became like this, I understood the true significance of God. Yeah, we're, we're, we're tripping hard. Humans are pathetic creatures. Driven by desires and living in misery. A ritual this stupid is only for gaining power over other tribes. I've had enough of people. If they all disappeared, it will be peaceful. What are you doing? I'm going to make you a god. A god of death. Hell, stop. What is wrong with a life that never ends? Isla, stop it. It's pointless to say anything now. It's not possible to understand. But before I leave this world, I'll show you human quality. An emotion called love that no other living thing has. Roy. 
Phyla, I love you. When we're reborn, we'll be joined again. Well, anyway. Boy, that would be sad if they had more than like 20 lines of dialogue in the game. So anyway, let's go through here. Did you come seeking an immortal body? Humans are all the same. For an instant, your face looked like a demon's. A person is said to have two faces. The external and internal selves. Maybe that sacred goblet's water just awakens the internal soul. Then why don't you try it yourself? The goblet behind you is filled with to the brim. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. Life or death. Enjoy the same torment I endured for a year. And we vomit. <laughs> the end of human life is trite. Phew. Strange dream. Well, I guess we'll go collect our reward. Attain the star stone. Okay. With the weird bird sound effects. No, we're just not gonna address it. Well, anyway, let's just have some weird trip sequence and we'll never reference it again. Now, Chan, I, I have an important question. And it's one that I dread the answer to, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Where do we have to put the stones? For now, let's... Let's go to the U.S. and see if anything updated. And then I'm gonna give a long think as to where this needs to go. Just keep in mind, they just said, take it to the grave. That's all they really said. Freedom looks fully upgraded. I think we visited here already. How about the other place? Oh, it's like a smear. Oh, they're like got destroyed apparently. The shack caught fire. The wind whipped the fire up. The village went up in flames just like that. Hmm. My. My corn. Oh. I was born and raised here. I don't want to leave. What's gone is gone. The important thing is what you do next. Maybe? I'm kind, so I'm an economist. Sounds key to progress is it's rebuilding. Without it, progress is not likely. There's no hope for growth without a major change in policies. Sounds economic growth is 10%. Okay. See, Nurlake, must luckily survive on harm. Feel bad that just my house remained. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Do I even feel like bothering leveling up any of these places? I feel like the answer is no. I mean, I'll talk to them for the sake of talking to them, but I think I just want to beat the game at this point. What is this? Unbelievable. Everything's gone. Can't even cook. Mm hmm. To the fire, some people have left to other towns. Relic's gonna disappear from the world if something isn't done. Oh well. So we'll let it disappear. You're a traveler, right? You go to different towns? Can I ask you a favor? Sure. Sure, I'm considerate. Pfft, okay. That's great. As you can see, the village is a mess. But we can't leave it this way. This village isn't wealthy at all, so here's the request. Written nine letters. Please give these to people you meet. Those letters are plea for money to help rebuild the village. Kind-hearted people should help upon reading the letter. Thank you. Nine letters? 
Dad, I think I'm gonna ignore the game's busy work. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think I'm not gonna bother doing this. I don't think I care. Let let Nurlake stay destroyed forever, as far as I'm concerned. So sorry, Australia. I'm not leveling you because I don't want to level Nurlake again. Or whatever things we're missing with Australia. Um. Hmm. <laughs> We're just like. When was the last time I went to Antarctica? Actually, now I'm curious. I think we went there for, what was it, the mermaid armor? Was there something there that I... Was there like a cave or something when we last went here? Yeah, see how there's like that little patch there? What's this? I didn't know there would be a place this dry at the South Pole. Huh? These look like tombstones. Why at this extreme edge of the world? Okay, so I think we've managed to stumble upon it. Well, oh, there's a lot of tombstones. Oh no. Okay. So, presumably, this is where plot is. Yeah, I think we went to the cave before. I don't know if I tried going in there before. I was gonna go to the cave, but that works, I guess. Nothing new here. So why don't we just find a place to save? So I guess we'll go back to Australia briefly. I don't know what town Australia did not meet, which is annoying because it cycled through three before we realized, or at least I realized that was a thing. So they probably only need one more town, but I really don't want to revisit the other towns. I wish it kept track of like which ones were missing. Because I honestly have no idea which one we didn't get. Because it's not like I didn't talk to the towns. It just cycled it out of the three that we had. So let's sleep here. Save in Australia. I think we are literally just missing one. Hmm. I'll think about it. Right now, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> after after the robot boss, my my goal is to move on. Maybe maybe next week I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> if I'm feeling generous about it. But right now, I'm like, nah. I need something to celebrate, Chad. We're still in chapter three somehow. Which, I don't know, maybe this is the final chapter, or who knows, maybe maybe doing the Star Stones will finally end this chapter. Looks like an altar of some sort. Okay, can I just use the Star Stones here? You're equipped. Parker held the star stone aloft. Wonder why they even added chapters. And this chapter never ends. So there we go. Weird sound effect. Of one more to deliver. Ah, uh, the rotating square. Voice echoed on Arkra's head. It sounded exactly like Arkra. You survived countless encounters with danger. However injured you were in fighting, you never did die. Do you know why? Well, I'm going to say because it's a video game. It's because you are the legendary hero. 
Okay. I represent the light side. And you represent the dark side. People are said to meet someone identical to them once in a lifetime. There are two Arcris in the internal and external worlds. The re-emergence of Baruga has disturbed Earth's balance. If Earth's history is likened to a clock, the hour hand points to 13. Um, I don't... I don't think that's how that works. A time that cannot exist. You're not... Yeah, no kidding. No, a time that must not exist. Now close your eyes. And think deeply. About Earth. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about Earth. Like, what on Earth are we doing? Oh, whoa, glitch. What on Earth are we doing? <laughs> Have they seen a clock? I know, chat. Well, we just got bodied by a spirit. And it played the death sound effect. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're done with the chapter three. Oh my gosh. Oh, there is an end. Oh, it's still not over though. Oh my gosh, Resurrection of the Hero. Oh my gosh. Chapter never ended, chat. Holy. Miserably long. What are we in? We apparently snivel, sniff, snivel. Oh, it's baby Arkra. Please let this cutscene end. Why is this happening? Oh dear, you're awake. I wonder how much time has passed since I began living with you. I was shocked when I found you crying in the field of Storkholm. So much resemblance to a person I know. I end up giving you the same name, Arkra. You must be hungry. I'll go fetch some food. I don't even know what to say. The plot is just... The plot is happening. <laughs> I guess this is Evil L. Now L, kill him. Do not hesitate. She's dialing a flashback from the crying. That is why you were sent from Krista to the outside. Things are just da plot is plotting. Now that babe is powerless. Hurry. Um. So remember how I said in Illusion of Gaia, the last half of the game, things just kind of happened and stopped having a flow and stopped really trying to explain what was occurring. I, th I think we're at that part of the game with Terranigma. <laughs> like, drugging the castle was pretty bad, but now things are just happening. Like, we turn into a baby because... Because... Arkra? Arkra, what's the matter? L dot 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 strange. A baby can't just walk away. Arkra? Arkra, where are you? I mean, they could crawl, but whatever. L, stop hesitating. Kill that babe now. So are you telling me if we just killed Dark World L or Surface L, wherever you want to consider her, this wouldn't be happening at all? Damn, Chad, I knew we should have just killed her. Arkra, forgive me. Pardon me, what are you doing? Who... who are you? You have my exact same face! Your hair is different. Who are you? What are you doing to that baby? Well, well, quite an interesting guest. L, dispose of this girl too.
What? Arkra. Arkra. Wake up. It's me, Kumari. Am I reaching you? All the living things in the world await your awakening. <laughs> Chat just shrugged your shoulders. Now listen closely. I am Ra. Can you hear me? Oh, the Ra tree? Arkra? The earth is screaming. I'm Chad is screaming too at what's happening. Like you saved me from poison. Please, save this planet. I'm Leeb. Is my voice reaching you? Apparently they just all have psychic long distant voices to contact us. The world has gone wrong. Animals have remained the same, but humans alone changed. Like you gave me courage. Please give me courage to the... Oh, please give courage to the world. I am Kingbird. The sky is crying. And the tears are filthy. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening at this point. Listen, we're going to talk about this once this is done. We fly clear skies. We need nothing more. I agree, Blue Donna. Why? Blue Donna's on point today, chat. Have you heard all their voices? Says Kumari. You can no longer converse with such living things. But they are with you. Arkra, I will say this again. All the living things in the world await your awakening. Okay. I, I don't know what we're witnessing, chat. We willed ourselves to manhood, I guess. <laughs> My waiting comes after nap, nap time, Goo Goo, Arkra. Does the chat, pretty much. Arkra's evolving. Yeah, let's make sure not to hit B to cancel, though. <laughs> so he's awoken. The representative life and dark spoken of as the hero is here. Ordered by the Elder of Krista. Arkra has, resurrect, has resurrected Baruka. Kill him. If I'd abided my time, I thought you would find the hero, Arkra. I was right. When I kill you now, nothing can stop us. By the hand of the Elder, nay, Dark Gaia. Oh no, it's Gaia. The Earth will be reborn. Dark Gaia? That's right. Humans call him the Devil, I believe. Now, well, kill him. At least Arco won't have the courage to kill his friend. Oh, <laughs> little do you know, I will definitely kill her. She dot 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 dot. And she just walks away. Okay. Hey, hey, snap out of it. What's the matter with you? I wanted to see you all this time. I never forgot about you. But I never knew we would meet again like this. I was ordered to kill someone on the surface, endangering Krista. I had no idea that it would be you, Arkra. Ugh, you useless thing. Enough, I shall kill him. Yomi, what are you saying? We traveled for so long together. Arkra, you still don't understand, do you? No, I really don't. The plot is just kind of happening. You were just used, Arkra. You were just a piece in a game. I'm sorry, but goodbye forever. The Elder's word is absolute. Yummy set off an earthquake. 
Arkra is immobilized. Okay. Now, how shall I do you? Stop! The way people have two sides, light and dark. Oh, the way people have two sides, light and dark need each other. Yomi, we must disappear. What? Let me go! Cannot disobey the Elder! What's the light side version of Yomi? Arkra, please save the people of the surface world. The surface is so beautiful. People will treat this world carefully. L, what are you doing? Stop! Arkra, I wanted to be with you forever. Goodbye, Arkra. L! L did nothing wrong. Why did this happen? I I know. Chat, there 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 was so much to digest in that. I'm not gonna call it plot dump. I'm gonna call it like. Plot train wreck. We kind of got plot train wrecked. How will I access my menu now? Exactly. Um. I don't know. Plot crash site. That's a good one. I didn't open Pandora's box that day. Would it have remained peaceful? Probably. I don't understand this external and internal thing. It doesn't matter, does it? It's good enough to live happily with the people precious to you. What happened to my carefree days and Krista? Somebody give me those days back! What should I do? After seeing that, I don't know what I should say to you, Arkra. Don't worry. Talk to me the way you would normally. The other L may be gone. But won't I do? Can I ever replace L from the underworld? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like the worst relationship ever. This is one of the worst JRPG love stories I've ever seen. This is so bad. So let me get this straight. Let let me let me put the timeline together so you can understand how stupid this is. So we met her, she was mute. We traumatized her by making her re-witness the death of her family in the throne room. After we poisoned everybody in the castle. Um she then escaped the castle with us. It didn't want to be a burden on us and just left. Then we found her again. And then she got captured again. And then she didn't want to be a burden on us again. And she left again. And that is our love story. We've had like barely any interaction with her. Like we literally freed her from two things. And then like she never stuck around. <laughs> I'm really not feeling it chat. I'm not feeling this at all. At least Underworld L... At least we, like, reciprocated. I didn't even realize she even liked us until the second time because she was just so, like, bossy, and we even called her rude and how much we didn't like her, and that we were more confused that she was, like, the other L. So, yeah, the, the story sucks. My feelings? Oh no, we get to choose one. Wow, chat, the love story is so solid. I get to choose which one we love. You know what, chat? I'll let you decide. Did we like Underworld L, who gave us a mantle and talked to us a little bit? Or do we go with Surface L, who seems like an absolutely atrocious human being? <laughs> I'll let you decide, chat. You decide where our heart lies. Because the game apparently doesn't think we should have known this. Are we going to fall for the snobbish princess that was very picky? Hmm. I know, Chad. You, I know you're so torn internally. 
hell can you pick between the L's? They're so different. Well, Surface a L took care of us when we became baby. That's true. I choose Yomi. Yeah, I know. I guess we'll pick Surface L, I guess, based off the comment. Dot to dot to dot. What you just told me makes me really happy. But... I lived for a long time with L and Krista. I have many memories of us together in my heart. That L just sacrificed herself to save me. I'm sorry, but I can't think of another person right now. You're right. I'm sorry. Yes. I have something I have to tell you. This village had this old saying. One day, a hero will visit. He will create a miracle and defeat the dark foe. And that hero was you. In this box are the arms of the hero. Oh, I hope not literally. That'd be kind of gross. We were forced to choose that she rejects us, I know. What a love story. We should have stuck to dating the lion, it's true. Blind date gone wrong. I think they were discovered by Columbus on his voyages. Oh, don't bring up Columbus again. He hid them to ensure they do not fall into the wrong hands. In other words, the villagers were the keepers of the mythical arms. They are why this village was destroyed and Columbus was tortured. The souls of villagers have become wolves to protect the arms. What? That that is a sentence. That is a lot to digest. We are very we are very calmly talking absolute BS nonsense. Like we are she, she's just taking the crazy pills and we're like, mm-hmm. We're just nodding along, like, yep, that makes sense. Reincarnation. Super weapons. We're all good. Arms protected by the blood of many. Only you could use them, Arkra. So presumably these are the last... Ugh. The hero has finally emerged. I'm so tired of waiting. All my body has gone slack. No need to tell me. I know you're the true hero. Arkra, this animal tried to kill you earlier. Don't be silly. That was Yomi from inside. I'm this world's Yomi. Hey, we don't have time to chit-chat. We have to take these hero arms and defeat Baruga. Even while we talk, a city could be dying. You tame the hero, Pike. Okay, I just want to save the game and pause for now. You tame the hero armor. Uh, we got oh 40 defense i think i think that makes up for 40 health loss just straight up take 40 less totally worth it okay so now we have the hero pike once for help by heroes okay now if we need to power level we have some big damage they really want to make sure you're geared up for the end game. Wait, you'll return here forever. When everything is done, please come back here. Yes. <laughs> Bye, sucker. <laughs> Bye. Wait, hold on. Can I just zip out of here? Oh, I went to the wrong one. Bad chat. Can I just bone pin? Or do I can't use it in town or something? The bone pin spell is useless. Well, I mean, that's usually for me to critique and say, but I'm, I guess if the game wants to say it, I can't really deny it. So after all this, she just went back to her house in the completely abandoned village. Bird dot dot dots. Huh? This bird appears to have a letter in its beaks. Arkra read the letter. Has this letter safely reached Arkra? I'm Mayhu. Oh, not you! I write this on route to Siberia. Oh, I hate this character. Arkra. Are you aware Neo Tokyo was terminated instantly? Fears a virus weapon called Asmodeus was used. We cannot allow Baruka 
any more freedom. The world will end. Under Lord Kumari, several compatriots have gathered. To stop Aruga, we formed a caravan to the lab tower in the East Siberia. These are the members. Fida, the swordswoman. Royd, the former mercenary. Harel, the, the skateboard wizard? Oh my gosh. And my granddaughter, Malin. Oh, sorry, I confused Malu and Malin, but it was still about Malin, ultimately. Arkra, if you have read this letter, come to our help. Let us meet at the lab tower in the east of Siberia. Mehu. Alright, now can we leave? Uh 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 uh, don't you just immediately attack me? Yeah, skateboard wizard is definitely a sentence that just happened. Well, anyway, I'm out of here. I'm not walking out of here. I'm glad I had multiple bone pins. So I feel like they were less of a waste of time. I actually used two of them correctly. He blew up the castle wall with magic, maybe? Maybe that would explain the absolute nonsense of what happened earlier. Okay, I just want to save. And we're pausing for now. I have to take in the plot. Please let me save. Um... Let's save in Australia. Maybe for chat, we'll revive Australia next time. I, I feel a little better. We're out of chapter three. <laughs> that was one positive thing that has happened. I just want to become a skateboard wizard. I want to become one. No idea. Noodle King is pretty good. We are officially the Noodle King. The Noodle King has been reborn. All hail Noodle King. So we still can't do anything at Cape Town. Maybe that's a bug or they forgot to... Or they just couldn't implement it in time. I don't know. Actually, what am I doing? It's faster to go this way. Whoops, I'm following the contours. I should just look at the map. So, I mean, we're we're gonna have to discuss whatever just happened. <laughs> just, I'm still taking it in. It, it was a lot to take in, in my defense. I mean, I guess the plot technically happened at least. Oh, oops. That's where the port was. So we have the airport to go directly to Siberia. I could try to very briefly level Australia. I don't think the nine letters thing is worth it. But at least we got super armor. I'm now level 26, which is fine. Let's take one last look at our stats. How close were we to leveling? We're very close to leveling. So if we do need to level again, that's reasonable. We're within about 500-ish. Terranigma plotted hard. Indeed it did. So let's talk. Um... Well, I mean, like... I, I guess it's following through with the theme of Illusion of Gaia, where the light and dark form the ultimate warrior. I guess it kind of went along the same lines. So it, just a lot of things happened. Then we were a baby for some reason in the surface world, and we were found in a field different from where we did the awakening thing. And then we also just happened to have all of our memories again. Then all the animals and trees could psychically talk to us long distance. We resurrected one of the most obviously evil villains of all time with Baruga. I mean, like, you would have thought the cult itself would have been enough of a clue for the character. But talking about the biotechnology and everything else, we decide just to not kill him while he's re-emerging. So I guess that would have been like an effective plot twist if it felt like... I, I don't know. I, I, guess, I guess the plot twist of we're trying to save the world and then it turns out we, we end up destroying it. We're just bringing back the devil. I guess it could have worked if the plot wasn't like so all over the place. I mean, it's it's not bad in concept. Just the execution was like, whew. 
Yeah, that, that robot boss was unironically one of the worst bosses we fought. It was more tolerable when we leveled. I cannot imagine grinding to level 28 plus like some of the people said online. This is why we ignore those people, chat. Like, listen, I might not necessarily be a speedrunner level of this game, but I don't need to grind to level 28 to beat it. And honestly, I could have beaten it at 24 instead of 25. I didn't realize our strength made that much of a difference. I think ultimately my conclusion is damage formula equals whack. Um, with this new weapon, I should be able to basically one-shot everything, regardless of weakness. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll, I guess we'll have a quick discussion, and then based off of that, that will decide what we do next session. But I think from the standpoint of <laughs> game equals whack, pretty much. So I think from that point, I guess we have chapter four to look forward to. And we'll talk about what the chat is interested in seeing in Terranigma. Uh, for next time, unless you just want to talk about it literally right now while on stream. But I'm thinking of skipping the the town creation. I might I might level up Australia just for Chris, but I really don't feel like doing the nine letters thing. At least Australia, it's like there's one of the four towns there is the one that I'm missing. I don't really want to go rewatch what I missed. I might do that off stream because it's just very boring flying between two different places and trying to guess what I missed. So I think what I'll end up doing is just checking uh, when we go to hand it into the tourism booth, which towns are there and I'll just pick the other one that we're not missing. Jump in prolonging the game on me. Yeah, we might just level it up between streams. I mean, it's not like we don't know what to do and I'll just mention that that's what we missed. But I, I think that'll be about it. I really don't feel like finding what arbitrary NPC we give the letter to. To go to a town that'll upgrade and not give me anything of interest. At least I have a chance of doing something in Australia. Because I will have to go there potentially from America to Australia to Siberia. Depending on where the game needs us to go. But yeah, I'm really hoping we're near the end of the game, Chad. I'm really, really hoping that we are almost all done. I don't really know what to expect other than we're fighting the devil at the end of the game. I mean, I guess we're fighting Baruga first, but he might transform into the devil because it is a JRPG. And they love fight making us fight the embodiment or concept slash philosophy of a natural force. So I guess in a way, it's not too unexpected. But anyway, chat, um, I, I don't know if I'm going to bother looking up the Easter eggs of this game. I, I think... I, I think I'm ready to just beat the game potentially next time we play. So we'll we'll talk more tomorrow, I think. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. Oh, actually, chat, one funny thing that I do want on the playthrough. The most viewed part of this playthrough so far is where I said, uh, what was it? Knock off Lost Woods. So I think people accidentally reached that video because they thought it was Legend of Zelda. So I, I both am sorry that people found that by accident, but also that is really funny. You have to admit that is really funny. It has like five to six times more views than all the other videos. <laughs> and I think it's because of the terms Lost Woods, because I called it knockoff Lost Woods. So sorry for everybody that looked there. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's proof that depending on what words you put in the title, it makes a difference. But anyway. I think from that standpoint, chat, we're going to say thank you for watching and yes, hopefully see you again in the next part.